Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have a great monthly self-care slash lifestyle box that I have been opening here on the channel for over a year and that is Therabox. This is a subscription that I pay for myself and I think it is a fantastic value every month at just $34.99 plus $5.95 in shipping. I think you'd be hard pressed to find a box with this much value for under $40 these days. So I always love it. There's usually seven to eight products, one of which is the happiness boosting activity because this box is curated by therapists. So there's always an item with your mental well-being being in mind as well as some great bath and beauty, skincare, self-care items in general, sometimes an occasional kind of lifestyle item which is always one of my favorite things to receive. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now they do ship towards the end of the month so this is the October box but I did get it in the first couple days of November so it's not really late and I feel like we just have to come to expect a little bit of shipping delays in the next coming months. So inside this is what it looks like. They always have a really nice product booklet that tells us a lot about the brands and the items that are included and there's usually kind of a nice uh, letter as well that goes along with the monthly theme and it looks like this time our theme is moon dust and it's got this really pretty kind of celestial dark vibe going to it so I think that is pretty awesome so it says hello beautiful soul and then we do have a uh, quote from Lisa Stardust the moon rules the tides of the ocean humans are made of 60% water therefore the moon has a huge effect on us particularly the lunar phases as the moon orbits the earth, it forces us to focus on aligning ourselves to different natural flows of the universe. So I'm not huge into astrology, but I do feel like we, we are definitely affected by the moon in our environment says our lives are so filled with work and distraction that we have little time to listen to the subtle callings of the universe. There are days when life depletes us and we don't feel like doing anything. It's normal and we feel you. Life happens and at times it's easier to shy away from the nudging than to attend to our needs. But this month we invite you to use the phases of the moon to rejuvenate your self-care practices and shower yourself in love. Tune in and open your eyes, heart and mind to the magical sources of the universe. Well, whatever that means for you. So they did mention self-care during the lunar phases so with the new moon the beginning cycle of a new moon in the lunar calendar is the perfect time to set self-care intentions and goals for the month that makes sense the waxing phase the growing phase from new moon to full moon is a time for action time to make moves on the intentions you've set when it is a full moon it says the most powerful moon phase you have abundant energy strength and confidence to accomplish anything you set your mind to so take advantage of this although I feel like some people are like that's when I can't sleep because it's a full moon um, and then the waning phase as the full moon begins to wane it's time to gradually power down rest and reflect on lessons learned as you prepare for a new lunar cycle ahead so I feel like some of that just kind of makes sense all right so and then inside once you flip the page they have two facing pages with all of the information and again we do have seven items plus our happiness boosting activity would make number eight so I'll prop this up in front of me I don't usually read the entire paragraph because it's in very tiny font um, so I kind of try to like summarize with my eyes first and then verbally to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first item. So this was an either or item. It's by Pure Aura. It is the Karma Glitter Hologram Foil Mask. So I'm sure that will look fun. I walked out of the bathroom last night wearing a sheet mask and my husband got a little bit got a little bit startled, but maybe he won't be as uh, frightened if I um, wear something sparkly. So let's see what it says about this. This has a value of $6. So you could have gotten the hologram sheet mask, uh, the Karma Glitter or Cosmic Shimmer style. So I got the hologram foil mask. So it says a celestial holographic foil sheet mask to soothe, hydrate, and firm up your skin. Pure Aura's patented plasma technology blasts real silver onto the mask to promote healing properties to the skin alongside botanical extracts to deliver the ultimate nourishing mask. Interesting. This duo layered mask infuses activated charcoal on the inner side to draw out impurities from your skin and features a holographic foil front that works as an insulation to penetrate nutrients deeper into your skin and keep nutrients from evaporating. Enjoy a spa treatment from the comfort of your own home with this fun cosmic mask. All right, so so far, definitely on theme. All right, what, what else we have next? 
I'm hoping this is a candle. Oh, this is from like a kind of small shop likes brand to be in here, indie brand. So it's Lloyd's of La Luna. It says sage and lavender on that very mirror top. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. It is a candle. I love when we get candles in any box, but it's always kind of a fun treat from Therabox. It does have some glitter, some sparkly in there, and it looks like bits of lavender, but they look kind of loose, so I didn't want to like move them around. So I can totally smell both the sage and the lavender. It smells like something I want to eat. Like I love culinary lavender. So let's see what it says about this. This has a value of $16.95. It says, step into your own relaxing sanctuary and amplify positive energies and intentions within your home. This limited edition white sage and lavender vegan soy candle made exclusively for Therabox is richly scented, hand poured and infused with the calming scent of lavender and cleansing powers of sage. White sage and lavender is a camphoraceous blend of herbs, lavender and aromatic woods, sage, rosemary and chamomile awaken the earthiness of lavender while hints of sandalwood and cedar in the base are reinforced by clove, lavender and cedarwood essential oils. Amethyst on the other hand is a natural stress reliever that attracts positivity. It also removes negativity from your home and body, the perfect tool to practice meditation with. Focus on your intentions before lighting the candle, visualize it and continue to do so with each use. It smells really good. I'm super excited to get a candle that's not pumpkin spice latte scented. <laughs> All right, this looks like something, it looks like seasoning salt. I don't know what this is, let's see. So, it says uh, clarifying charcoal cleansing grains. Interesting, this has a value of $25.99. So, let's see, it uh, says frequency sprays, the website where you would find them. So doesn't it look like something that belongs in your spice drawer? It says, we're all about turning your skincare routines into rituals. A gentle everyday clarifying cleanser with a tumbled hemat with tumbled hematite placed with intention. Frequency's hematite clarifying cleansing grains embodies the whole sensor sensory or aromatherapy experience that will help calm and ground your senses. These gentle ca clarifying cleansing grains are, the per are perfect for oily and acne prone skin, free of soaps, dyes, synthetic fragrances, and preservatives. So so the charcoal and French green clay helps draw toxins while the tea tree essential oil calms the skin. It comes with tumbled hematite in the jar. I don't like see it. I think it's all powder uh, for some serious earthy grounding energy. The soap free cleanser comes as dry grains to avoid the need for preservatives. Mix with water for a quick wash or use it with any skin loving liquid. Think nut milk, soy milk, honey, apple cider vinegar, or mashed avocado. That sounds messy, but basically it's like a cleansing mask, but you mix it yourself. I'm really bad about actually using these because it's just like an extra step and if I actually even wash my face twice a day that's pretty good for me but I do like what it sounds like I don't know about, about like the hematite and all that but I know that charcoal is really cleansing and I love the idea of having uh, the French green clay in there too so that's kind of cool all right, this is funny because I just received this in another box and I cannot remember what one it was. Maybe you guys can remind me in the comments below. This is from Stoves Loves. I think I got it in a Bombay and Cedar. It's a hand sanitizer, but it's a pretty big bottle of it. So this has a value of $9.99. It says hand sanitizers are everywhere, but luxurious aromatic sanitizers that don't dry your hands is a rarity. Today the search is over with the discovery of this gem. Stuff's hyaluronic acid hand sanitizer focuses on fixing all the issues every other hand sanitizer out there has. Proudly FDA registered and made in Colorado, it contains nourishing ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, jojoba esters, lavender oil, and uh, liquid foam delivery and high efficiency pump. So that is kind of cool that it has that nice pump that creates a foam, nice like kind of lather almost for you to use. Um, I don't know that you have to, it says it's three times more uses than gel based products. So it sounds like it is gonna evaporate on its own. You don't have to like rinse it off. It's just like a hand sanitizer, but it is a pretty big bottle of it. I will say how many fluid ounces is that? So 5.7 fluid ounces, so you can't take that through TSA, but you can keep keep yourself nice and clean. So if you, you carry a nice big tote bag around, that'll, that'll fit in there. All right, let's see what else we've got. We have got something that I believe I may have even received once upon a time from um, this particular box. It is some starry uh, collagen gel lip masks from Amina, which is a brand that we get in a lot of subscription boxes. I've definitely gotten some of their products in um, 
a single swag, I think, but also in Therabox a few times. And for the most part, I do like um, their products. And lip masks are great because I have found that I use those more than I will use lip scrubs. And this is the time of year where we do want to give our lips a little extra love. Although every once in a while you do need to like give them a good scrubbing too and kind of get the extra off. But I have one of those nice little silicone brushes that does kind of prompt me to do it a little bit more often now. So this just had a plastic sleeve on it or plastic wrap on it. So I'm trying to remove that so we can take a look at our lip masks. So it looks like we have a few of them in there. Five in the box. It says anti-wrinkle lips plumper reduces dead skin. And this has a value of $32. So that's like six something per, per lip mask. So it says when it comes to lip masks, there are three key things to look out for hydration, lasting results, and clean ingredients. Well, look no further because the stars are in your favor this season. The perfect prep step to incorporate into any lip ritual for the plumpest, softest, and moisturized lips. Amina's Starry Gel Lip Mask contains cruelty-free and vegan ingredients like vitamin E and collagen that help nourish and hydrate even the driest and chapped lips this season. So they are kind of glittery, kind of fun. It says this ultra moisturizing pot of goodness rejuvenates the lip skin surface and penetrates deep below to lock in the good stuff, preventing dryness and reducing the appearance of fine lines used during the day to hydrate and plump your natural lips or at night for the supplest lips when you wake up in the morning. So pretty cool. I don't mind a lip mask. I haven't, I don't use them as much as I use like sheet masks, but like whenever I put a sheet mask on, I'm like, what about the rest of me? So it does say, how long does it say? It says you can leave them on for 20 to 30 minutes. So 20 to 30 minutes of silence, which is probably like kind of a good trick in terms of making yourself journal or meditate or just shut up for a little bit. So maybe something good to share with your partner as well. <laughs> I'm kidding. My husband has a mustache and he's always like, can I wear, can I have one of those masks? I'm like, I don't think it's going to work for you, buddy. Like you can have one of the little under eye ones, but I don't think these other ones are going to work. Um, let's see. I think that may, we have one more item before we get on to our happiness boosting activity. This is from Evio Skin. It's this nice uh, pale tube. Let's see what this is. This is a rejuvenating mask and moisturizer with a value of $18. Evio is redefining luxury beauty to be kind, conscious, and affordable with this multi-purpose hydrating face mask and moisturizer imported from Canada. So recharge your skin and deeply hydrate with this radiance boosting mask that can be used as a wash off treatment or overnight moisturizer to restore skin's brightness and youthful glow. The mask holds a gel cream texture and incorporates plant-based oils and extra for a refreshingly cooling effect. Your skin will feel awakened, reborn, and rejuvenated. So all of that, of course, sounds very nice. Um, let's see how many, it's 1.4 fluid ounces, so good like travel size as well, if it works for you. So let's just see, I think there's one more, I keep saying, I think there's just one more item, there's one more item. This was a pretty big one. I don't know how I missed this. This is from uh, Tub Tonics. It's a moon beam bath oil, and it has a value of $21.99. It is very like opalescent, and like very shimmery so there does look to be some glitter in there which I'm, not, I'm a little weird sometimes about using glitter now you guys know I don't use like I don't take a lot of baths so I don't use a lot of bath salts or bath oils but it says tub tonics currently known as bath body factory but rebranding soon recreates crystal and botanically infused products to enhance daily skincare rituals and this moonbeams bath and body oil is no exception soak in silvery beams with this amethyst infused bath and body oil each bottle contains real amethyst okay so that's where the glitter is coming from that's that I'm more okay with that it's nut free and contains organic sunflower oil grapeseed oil and a celestial essential oil blend for a cosmic aroma I don't know what the cosmos smells like do you um, for a luxurious bath sprinkle a dropper full of the oil into your bath water or use as a body oil directly under the skin after a shower to lock in moisture so that is kind of cool that it came in a dropper bottle instead of just a bottle that you dump into the bath because you can use it as a body oil and I bet it gives you a kind of a fun shimmer hopefully not too amethyst in color but I I do like that it's not necessarily just for baths. So this is from again Tub Tonics, which is apparently rebranding. Um, I think they already rebranded though, because I feel like I've heard of Tub Tonics already. So we got this Tub Tonics Moon Beam Bath Oil or Body Oil. We got our Amina lip masks, quite a few of them, and those do have some like glittery stars on them. We got our Lloyd's of La Luna White Sage and Lavender Intention Candle, definitely my favorite item so far. We got our Fun Hologram Sheet Mask. There were a couple of variations there, but they all sound like they kind of have the same 
same premise. We got our charcoal cleansing grains. Very interesting with like ground up hematite in there or rolled hematite I think is what they said. We got our EVO Beauty Skin Rejuvenating Mask and Moisturizer in this one. And then finally our Stubbs Hand Sanitizer with a subtle lavender scent. And then finally turning to the next page we have our Happiness Boosting Activity which you guys does look a little bit like a journal but let's hope fingers crossed it's not just a journal. It says 100 affirmations for moon phases. Okay that sounds like something I can get on board with. This has a value of $25. Self Self-help is empowering and affirmations are just one small tool in that big bag of self-help. Think of affirmations like mental vitamins for your psychological immune system. They provide supplementary positive thoughts to help after beliefs about yourself, alter beliefs about yourself, in turn helping you think more positively and giving you the motivation you need to foster the change you want to happen in your life. Affirmations also act as a symbol of hope because positive words have such an amazing impact on how we think and the more we say something the more we believe it to be true. Consequently, repeating positive statements relating to specific situations can alter our thought processes, behavior, and how we approach things. Absolutely. I definitely believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the benefits of meditation. I believe in the power of positive thinking and manifestation. Um, I put like different weight into those, into different things, but I, I think it's great to have affirmations. And sometimes there is something about actually like saying them out loud, verbalizing them, or just the practice of repetition. So it's very simple you guys there's a lot of blank space it's just some affirmations a hundred of them apparently so they are supposedly uh, related to the moon. You can actually see I found a section. So there are ones where you would go to the waxing moon phase. So I don't mind that. I don't necessarily like put that much into the different moon phases, but let's see what a waxing moon phase uh, affirmation is. I always do my best at work and all my efforts are well rewarded. We'll see that's something definitely positive to say. Um, going back to, let's see what phase of the moon this is that I'm in. Um, a waning moon, it says, I am ready to leave my emotional baggage behind and live fully in the present moment. So again, all like very positive things, definitely wouldn't hurt to flip through it. If you can go through like the moon phases, I think that might have some extra effect if you really believe in sort of astrology and the effects of the moon on your life. But I think most of these are just pretty positive and I remember to give myself time and space to heal. I mean, you can't go wrong with stuff like that. So I think this is a really nice one and it's kind of one that seems like a little bit more doable in terms of incorporating it into your daily self-care routine just flipping to the page and giving yourself that affirmation and maybe challenging yourself to say it out loud i enjoyed this there box quite a bit of course i love the candle i don't know that i will use the body oil slash bath oil or the charcoal mask cleanser just because i'm lazy about stuff like that but the other stuff like the hand sanitizer the lip mask the sheet mask i'm happy to receive all of those things and again i think it is a fantastic deal every single month. Let me know what you guys thought about the October Therabox and if you'd like to continue seeing it here on the channel let me know that as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you appreciated it I would appreciate a thumbs up. Again remember it's more about the video than the products, the box that you're seeing in the videos and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing.